Let's do one final example. If we burn liquid hexane in oxygen, you'll get carbon dioxide and liquid water. Let's write out and balance that equation. The hexane C6H14 is a liquid, and we're going to combine it with oxygen gas. Now remember, oxygen is the diatomic, so it's O2 gas. And your products are going to be carbon dioxide, CO2, which is a gas, and water, which is a liquid. If we start with the most complicated molecule, that's going to be the hexane. I've got C6, which leads me to six CO2s to balance out the carbons. And I have H14, which is going to lead me to seven H2Os to balance out the hydrogens. A little problem here. If I look at my oxygens, I've got 12 of my oxygens here, seven oxygens in my water. I have 19 oxygens on the right side, in the product side. Well, I have two oxygens on the reactant side. So this is where I'm going to have to use a fraction. I can write this as 19 over 2. I could say that there are 9.5 oxygen molecules. But that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to double everything. And in doubling everything, I'm going to get 2 C6H14 liquid plus 19 O2 as a gas, going to 12 CO2 as a gas, and 14 H2O as a liquid. Again, hexane is C6H14, oxygen is O2, carbon dioxide and water are the products. And to balance that, we had to double everything, and we ended up with two hexanes, 19 oxygens, 12 carbon dioxides, and 14 waters.